guys, so as you've seen this morning I've been working on painting this KK slider record. So I've decided this week I'm just going to take a week to kind of relax, just make things that I want to make, just fun, and you know, just not really care about doing anything in particular, like shop stuff and making new products and coming up with new ideas and stuff like that. I just want to make stuff for the sake of making it, you know, stuff that I'm not gonna sell. Um, I know I did say this last week, but I feel like, I don't know, I'm just gonna get kind of burnt out a bit because I've got this kind of routine going on where I'm working two days a week and then the three other three days a week, I'm um, just getting work done. And then one day a week, I'm editing videos. And yeah, I just, it's just kind of very squashed and I'm trying to fit so much in and I'm kind of panicking about like, oh, I haven't got enough footage for my studio vlog this week. What am I gonna do? And I kind of just wanna take some time to just make things. Um, you know, there's not gonna be a particular theme or anything going on. I just wanna do some painting in my sketchbook, which I've barely done recently on canvases, on records, I might do some denim jackets, which yes, technically I will sell them, but um, you know, it'll be something I wanna paint, um, you know, I'll paint a cute animal or something like that. It's not gonna have like a set purpose for it. Um, and you know, I'll, I'll go and resell it obviously, but um, you know, it's not like it's a commission or because in, you know, there's an event happening. So I need to make products for that event, like Christmas or Valentine's day. So um, I'm almost finished with this record actually. So I might as well go and get it finished. So I was up late last night, so I'm gonna take the rest of the evening off. It's about eight o'clock now, so I think that's fair enough. Um, and I'm just gonna get something to eat and play some Sims um, as there's been a new update on the game. So I'm just gonna go and check that out. Okay, so I know I'd said I'd stop for the night, but I've just, just had my first pledge on Patreon, so thank you so much if that was you. Um, I'm kind of surprised that I've managed to get some this early on, um, but if you want to pledge to my Patreon yourself, um, my link is down below in the description. Um, so I'm excited to go and get that packed as well in the next few days, um, and hopefully maybe I'll even have some more. But yeah, I'm just excited to have my first ever Patreon. Okay, so it's now day two, so let's go and get this um, record finished. Alright, so KK is now finished. I'm really happy with how it came out. It was a really fun piece to do. This has been something I've been wanting to do for a while, probably since the game came out, since New Horizons came out. So, you know, I've managed to sit down and finally do it. The one thing I kind of was a bit worried about was figuring out how I would put the primer on only half of the record and then still being able to paint KK Slider over the top of the record. But as you saw yesterday, I managed to figure that out by putting paper um, over the bits I wanted to cover and then cutting out KK Slider's head so only that bit um, was covered um, in primer and the rest was kept blank and it worked pretty well. It's a cute pitch th picture and I think it would actually look good in a frame So maybe I'll find somewhere to put it. Something else I've been doing today is I've just kind of not really been doing much as I've kind of been dawdling and sorting things out 
whilst I was painting this. So I've had a lot of different things to do because I'm moving again. So um, I've just been going through bills, cancelling them. And then I also put in an order for something to do um, on Friday. So I'm gonna be doing needle punching again. I attempted this once before and I really didn't have the right stuff. Everything I had broke. So I've decided to do it again and I'm going to do it properly. As so many people on YouTube seem to be doing it recently, it's been a big thing in studio vlogs. So I thought I'd give it a go myself and I've ordered a new set, um, which will hopefully be a lot more sturdier and, and will work well with what I want to do. So now I'm actually going to go and sketch out some ideas for what I want to do tomorrow, which is the needle punching. Um, I've only ordered three colours because it turns out wool is actually kind of expensive. So I didn't really want to buy that much. I had an Amazon voucher from Christmas to spend so I wanted to keep within that limit um, So let's go and get started with some sketching. <laughs> so I'm trying to be a beauty guru here Trying to get the camera to focus on my colored pencils Has that done it? Yeah, well there you go. So these are kind of similar to the wool I have chosen um, I chose like a kind of pinky red colour, a pink colour, and then a blue, which was kind of a little bit more greyer than this, but you know, this is all I've got in coloured pencils, so it works, it'll do.
Yesterday after work I continued doing a little bit of work on my needle punching um, illustration. So um, as you can see at the front is coming along nicely and then this is the back. So with needle punching you can actually choose which one you want to be the front and the back. So some people like it being this side because it's nice and fluffy and then some people like it being this side because it's nice and flat. Um, I think for this one I'm probably going to keep this as the front. But I am going to do another one and make the back of the front um, just because I want to kind of experiment with it and it's a little bit messy on the back because I was kind of trying to figure out how to do needle punching properly so it's not the best there. Um, but it is, it's not too bad I guess. I do need to go over the eyes and maybe that might make it better. Um, so I'm just going to go and finish it off now. I still haven't finished it. I've been working on it pretty much all day um, and it's still not done. So I'm actually going to go and watch some TV with Ryan and finish it off downstairs and hopefully it'll be done tomorrow and I'll be able to show you guys it. Well, I guess I'll see you tomorrow then. Today it's Sunday. Usually today I actually sit down, edit my videos and I don't really do any studio vlogging or anything like that. But because I've not, well, I've done a lot this week, obviously with the record painting and the needle punching but you know in a video it doesn't look <laughs> that good it's not very much so I'm actually going to extend this video for another week and um, so there was no video last Monday but there will be a video well you're watching it now um, so yeah <laughs> I'm doing a little bit more um, I've almost finished my needle punching I do just have to finish it off um, I just need to take it off the embroidery hoop and then to seal it and um, then for me put some felt on the back of it and I do want to do another one as well but I'll probably wait until the late till later in the week to do that um, and I've also decided that I want to make KK slider um, record t-shirts and stickers and maybe a tote bag or something as well so that's something I also want to look into making this week but I've also received a commission to paint on a denim jacket so the customer has asked me to paint a tiger on a denim jacket which as you can see here I've started by sketching out the outline of it um, this is what it looks like so I have got to paint that in still so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the first layer of white paint down um, and while that dries you know I'll try and do everything else, so the t-shirts and finishing off the needle punching um, and kind of do everything, you know, when, when it's convenient and so I'm not sitting around waiting for things to dry, I'll fit other things in in between while I do that. Um, I need to get this done quite quickly as she needs it shipped out to her very quickly and sometimes painting on denim jackets can actually take a few days to dry. I think the longest it's taken me to dry for a jacket once was almost a week. I don't think this would take me that long, but um, you know, I want to be prepared in case it possibly does. Um, I think it'll take a couple of days at most, but I want to get it sorted and sent out as soon as possible. So yeah, let's go and get started with the painting.
don't shut And lately I've been crazy Shuttered islands cross lazy But if you still my baby Then please let me know it So so far, I'm really happy with how the Tiger denim jacket is coming out. Um, but today, I think I'm just gonna put it to the side for the minute, for at least for this morning anyway, because I've got some orders that need packing and I really wanna get this needle punch finish too. Um, and I'm also wanting to print on those t-shirts and get all those set up and everything like that and the stickers and maybe some tote bags too. So I'm gonna put the jacket to the side for the minute and work on everything else. Um, I've also got an order for a custom Pet Illustrated phone case, but because I haven't got the dog drawn yet, um, I'm not gonna be able to pack that order right away. Though I'm hoping that I will get the sketch done tonight. I'll be able to send that off to the customer and then that over the next few days, I'll go to print on the phone case and get it sent out. Um, and I'll kind of work on this in between, but it's really important that I get all the other orders out because I think some of them have been waiting a day or two, so I wanna get them out as soon as possible. I've also been very kindly gifted some tissue paper by No Issue. You've mentioned it a few weeks ago in another video where I designed the tissue paper you will be seeing. So I'm gonna open that once I finish the needle punch, maybe film a bit of a TikTok, and I'm really excited to see it. But um, for now, let's just finish off the needle punching up. Okay, so I guess I just start by taking it off the hoop. So this is what the other side looks like. Um, it's not perfect, it's quite messy, but I'm hoping the next one I do will be this like nice fluffy look instead of this flat look, but I think for the bunny it worked better this way. Um, but the next design, I definitely think I'm gonna experiment it with it on this side. So, um, scissors. Okay, so I'm just gonna use PVA glue to finish it off. Alright, so it's probably gonna take a few days for this to dry, so hopefully it will be finished by the time I wanna end the studio vlog. Um, but you know, we will see. And hopefully it will turn out okay. I don't really know what I'm doing with it because my first time I've ever, you know, made a needle punch art, but uh, we'll see. So I'm gonna go and get my new tissue paper, unwrap it, and then, you know, start packing all my orders. So the guys over at No Issue were very kind to send me some free tissue paper. I designed my tissue paper, so let's see how it came out. Okay, let's go. Oh wow. Okay, I'm really, wow. So this is it. So this is what I'm gonna use to wrap all my denim jackets. Let's get a piece out. I'm actually in love with this, it's so good. This is gonna be so amazing to wrap up. You know, my bigger items like t-shirts and denim jackets, maybe even tote bags. It's just so pretty. <laughs> ah, look at that, I'm so happy with it. It's really cute. <laughs> so yeah, if you order any t-shirts or denim jackets from me, this is what it will arrive in. Um, so you'll have this to look forward to next time, place an order. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm just gonna take a few photos um, of myself with the paper. Then I guess I'll edit the TikTok video, which I think I'll also put on Instagram Reels as well. And then um, I guess I'll start doing the KK Slider stuff.
So this last one is a Patreon order as this person is the first person to sign up to my Patreon. They've also received the bonus 14 days exclusive set of stickers as well as the ones that follow this month's theme. So um, that's all going to them and I hope they like them. So now all my orders are out of the way, mostly, um, other than the last few that are commissions and stuff. I am going to concentrate on editing my um, record, you know, the KK slider record to make it suitable for printing um, on t-shirts and bags and things just because obviously it's quite a difficult object to scan I'm gonna have to take a photo of it I can't scan it in a printer or anything so I want to make sure it's good quality the photos work and will look good on a t-shirt so yeah just what I'm gonna do now So last night I was working on this little log illustration which I'm going to be printing on some socks. So this was a customer order. So that's what I'm gonna start off today with doing. Um, and then I'm gonna work on printing my KK slider record illustration onto t-shirts. And I also wanna make it into some stickers too. So um, I'm gonna start by packing orders. Um, obviously this phone case and I've got a few other bits and pieces to do. And then we'll get into um, you know, making the KK Slider stuff. So let's go. It's also very, very sunny in here today. Like the light you get in here can be really good, but then other days it can be so sunny. So that's why I'm filming from this angle because the other side it was just didn't work because it was just too much sun in my face. All right, so I've now finished everything. Those socks took me a little while to get sorted because there was issues with sublimation again. The colors weren't quite right, so I had to kind of experiment to get them right. Um, but I'm super happy with how they've come out. They're super cute, um, and I hope my customer likes them. If you want to get your own illustrated pet socks, um, the link to my shop is down below in the description if you want to go and grab them. I also do phone cases and face masks too, as well as all my other products. But right now, I'm finally gonna go and get these KK Slider t-shirts printed. I'm so excited to get them done. Um, 
it's just taking me a while to get there. It's an idea I came up with a few days ago and I'm finally getting around to do it now. I know it doesn't seem like that's a long time, but you know, when I get an idea, I just like doing it as soon as possible. So um, let's, let's go and do it. Look at that! Oh, look at that, that's so good. Wow. Okay, I'm gonna go and have to put this on and right now. This is so cute, look at that, wow. So I'm gonna go and edit all these photos. So I will see you guys on Friday. So today I've just been trying to get this denim jacket finished. Um, as you can see, I'm kind of slowly getting through it, but I'm almost there in a way. Um, there's not much left of the, um, the tiger to paint. I've just got to finish the yellow bits. And then... Um, I've got to do the flowers on it and then it will be done um, and I'm really wanting to get this finished tomorrow so I can get it sent out uh, as soon as possible so fingers crossed I'll be able to do it um, for now I'm gonna go and get something to eat and I might finish it off later or at least do more of it we will see So I've still not quite finished painting this denim jacket, but I'm really happy with how it is coming out so far. But um, I'm going to have to end this video here because it's currently quite late on Saturday night and I've got to edit this video tomorrow so you guys can see it on Monday. Um, but hopefully next week I will be able to get it finished within the first day or so. Uh, and I will also be able to finish off my needle punching as well and start the second one. Um, plus get on with a whole bunch of other things as well which I will be doing next week so stay tuned for that so make sure you are subscribed and hit the notification bell so you'll be the first to be notified for when I next upload as um, you know you want to see how everything turns out so if you haven't already please give this video a huge thumbs up and let me know down below what you liked most about what I did this week and let me know what you've been up to this week as well um, obviously this has been a two week studio vlog instead of a usual one. Um, let me know what you think about two. Should I do two weeks and, and, and not upload every week? You know, let me know, um, what do you think? Um, but anyway, next week I will probably be starting to get ready to move. 
but you know it's just one of those things but anyway thank you so much for watching this video don't forget to check out any of my other links all my other social medias are linked down below my tiktok instagram my shop all those kind of things are down below so if you want to get any of my stuff or support me on any other platform please do um, and my patreon is also linked down below as well um, if you haven't already checked that out please do um, there's lots of exclusive content that will be coming there over the next few weeks so um, that's really exciting that I'm going to be able to get to share more things with you guys thank you again and I'll see you next week bye